everyone. Uh, let's continue the previous uh, implementation in which we have uh, done the REST API implementation. Now I want to extend that particular concepts and want to add the modeling. Modeling means the business logic of any application. So what I'm doing here, I'm just using some event data and uh, adding the event one by one in, in an array list and uh, create the repository as an interface and uh, do some implementation and create some endpoint REST, REST API endpoints and access the data of the student list on the web browser. So let's start and do some implementation part. So step would be the same for if you're creating the new Spring Boot application. So the same step you need to use like IDE, Spring Boot API and JTK version. You need to add and create the new Spring Boot application. Now come to the specific part. Like in the previous session, we have created the REST controller. Now, I'm adding a new package, uh, like the entity. Entity would be uh, the a class. You can say a class that directly map with the database table. So if I'm using an entity like a student, so a student Pojo uh, class directly map with the database table. Whatever attribute you are taking in the student class, so it would directly added into your database table. So to do this type of work, we need to use a special annotation to identify by the compiler which class is being as an entity in the project. So if you want to add the student class as the entity class in your project, you need to use the annotation. Right, so here I'm just showing a sample code. Here I'm using the annotation entity, you can see here, and taking a class student. So a student in my project would be work like an entity class and entity class I am already told you it would be directly mapped with your database table. In this practical session I'm not using the database. I will implement the database in the next session, but I will show you the demo how you can use the student entity class in the normal type of you know implementation using the array list of the student. This one adding a uh, new feature in my previous a project that is the entity and entity would be your student class. Another one, because my main purpose to add the business logic in my project. So in the business logic, we need to use some type of data like if I'm using the product operation, so I need to add the student, remove the student, search the student, etc. So for this type of business logic, I am creating a separate service layer for this. For this service layer, I am creating a separate package as service and adding some uh, operation skeleton, like I'm creating an interface so that I can give the abstraction of the service layer. So this is the interface, like I am using the add service. So in the add service interface, I'm using some abstract methods uh, that need to be implemented later in the service implementation. So he's the skeleton of my service layer. So I'm using the add, remove, search, and show students. So this is another uh, class I'm using for interface. Uh, this is a service implementation class. So whenever you are using your service layer, you need to add here 
before the class this is another uh, annotation because i want to make this class as a service class if you remember that when i created the com the controller so i have used the rest controller as class level annotation right so same thing i am applying here i am using uh, the service annotation because i want to make the add service imp as a service layer so in this service imp i am implementing the add service add service what is add service in the previous slide you have seen that we have created the interface so this is the add service interface you can see and i am implementing all the methods of the add service interface in the add service imp so you can see all the methods you can see here like the add student right so this is the way right so add student will use the student list the student list is what is an array list i'm using so i am just whenever uh, any user want to add the student so it simply use the add student as a logic to add the students in the array list and uh and the user will get the message a student added successfully in the browser so this is a whole story of the business logic we are going to add in the project so let's go to the project part and see the output of this particular logic so i am switching uh to my eclipse id again <clears throat> see what you need to do here uh in the previous session you have added the add controller so this is the previous part we have already done this particular part right so we have seen this message welcome to spring boot application and all that so need to do one thing uh we need to add some functionality in the add controller and apart from that you need to create the package the new package in your application uh, entity right so in the entity package you need to create a separate class as your pojo class this is your pojo class okay so here you can see uh, that i'm using the entity annotation entity means i have already explained you through the slides so i'm making this student class as the entity class so it is it would directly uh, map with the database so here i am using the uh, two string method and constructor to initialize the data and set aggregator methods and you know remember whenever you are using the entity you need to use the primary key you need to provide the primary key and in the spring boot app api you need to use at the rate of id for this field you want to make the primary key if it would be map with the table in the data so a uh, student id would be the primary key when i connect this application with the database okay so this is my entity class now go to the service layer uh, this is a service add service i have shown in the slide this is my interface i already uh, discussed about this particular interface and its abstract methods so these are some methods right we have taken and this interface is being implemented in the service imp is a separate package here is the implementation part okay so here i have implemented the add service right and if you want to add the student so just give the reference of the student and in the array list we have taken a student list array list uh, we can add the student and return a message the student at it successfully okay so this is the add student if you want to remove the student so we have developed the logic for this right so you just check the list is already being available or not data available or not right so if it is already empty so it will not go inside this particular uh, if condition and if it is contain some data so it will remove the particular student so you will get the student deleted successfully 
so these are some logics for the search students we are searching the student from the id so it will return the data right and show the students it will return the whole array list of the student so this is the business logic to uh, like you can say the crud operation without using the database using the temporary storage like the array list as a data structure we are using so we have created the three packages here one is the entity package second one is the service package third one is the service imp in the entity we have created a student pojo class uh, generated some constructor and setter getter methods and two string method right and uh, in the service we have just created an interface the interface contains some abstract method in the service imp we have the implementation of all the abstract methods right so this is the whole structure we have done till now it's time to go for the controller layer where we can control everything which is happening in our project so i am going in the controller layer so this is the controller layer right so here i am going see the important part you need to understand here auto wiring we are doing here <clears throat> because you know we need to create some objects at run time and the spring container automatically create the objects for us and do some you know a calling part automatically we don't need to explicitly call everything in the spring so i am what i am doing i have created the service already service layer already created so what i am doing i need to call the methods of from the service layer here in the controller layer so i need to need some objects automatically so i am just auto wiring the add service in the controller layer remember okay so simply i just use this particular this will do some auto wiring here with the service layer so it, it simply you can say it will communicate or you can say integrate the controller layer and the service layer together so that they do both the layers can communicate the data for the user right because a user directly interact with the controller layer not the service layer so it will directly communicate with the controller right and controller layer will call the service layer what we have done so for the addition of the data right so i have created three students here student 1 student 2 and student 3 passing some data initializing the object right so first go there <clears throat> again i am using the rest api here i am using the get mapping and i have created a add student endpoint here when i access this endpoint from the browser it will directly hit particular method right so it will show some messages like just for showing the uh, console messages right and use this auto wiring objects here and add is a method already being implemented in the service layer so i will add the student here right so let me check when it is a uh, call so it will call the add student method and add student method is available here add student you can see add student here right so let and it will show the student added successfully match so let's see and test this particular application it is working or not so our application is running right and you can see the port number on which it is running so let go up there yeah, this is the triple line two so this is the same port we are using in the previous session so i am going And let check the endpoint because that it is very important. So, uh, endpoint we need to go to the controller part. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is my controller. 
so see here where it is yeah add strength so just copy this endpoint so that we get the correct result here right so add student is being there and uh, going back to the browser where it is yeah here so let me check first so without any yeah it is getting some error white label error page because we have not specified any endpoint for the error so let me go and control v yeah add strength so just hit it and send the request to the endpoint so you can say student added successfully so i'm getting the message what we have created in the business logic student added successfully now it's time to show what type of student we have added so again go to the project part and uh, go the another yeah so student so so students right it will directly call the so students method in the business logic so it is associated with the this particular endpoint so student just copy this particular endpoint again go back and the uh, in the url just control v and c yes so you can see the name ram id 100 department id so this data is being added at earlier through some endpoint and you are accessing this data through some different rest api and right so in this example you have seen you have created some type of you know uh, crud operation without using any database right use the rest api controller right rest controller and you have used the entity class or uh, so entity annotation you have used and uh, service layer you have created and on the behalf of the service layer you just design some business logic and you just show the data whatever you have added in the array list so this is the example of using the rest controller service layer right and the entity class so let's finish this and in the next session i will show you the way to handle the same data but using the database as to database